Tesco. Welcome to Tesco Project Bank Season 6. I'm Joy Muthengi, your host here at Studio Tesco. So it was meet and greet time once again, as usual on Tuesdays. But this time, the lucky fans in attendance got to meet all of the contestants because no one is going home this week. But first, Edu and Kavutha put the contestants through their paces in class. Easy, 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 and we are all there. Hope you're not with me there. Hope your knee's still down. You get that? So what, we, what we're doing is everything, it's him. He is like, he knows exactly what's going on. You guys have no idea what's going on, but we try to find what's really happening here. Yeah? So you, you know what's happening. You guys are to follow. So the coordination between you guys and him has to be like so tight. Yeah? Yep. Built from start. You don't know where your eyes are. Either on him or up there. be as natural as possible so you relax everything but the way you walk is normal everything is normal no exaggeration of any kind yeah now the next thing you're coming to do is here here down here so this is what he's coming to do you here stay here then you go you just saw that so try, 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 try. Can we join in? Yeah. You're still up there. But one, one now. Daisy. When you join in, it's one, one, yeah? Let's go. better but still some some guys your faces keep switching yeah you don't switch you have to stay in there all right but it's it's not bad so let's warm up I'm gonna start with the neck turn to your left then your right hold your right arm and uh, Stretch. Okay. You feel the cracks? <laughs> Go around. The other way around, do a hula hoop. If you can do it quicker, good for you. Make a line. <laughs> Who, Kojo? He's getting better. Thank you, he's here. I picked a song. Uh, I want us to divide how we're going to sing it. Uh, I picked uh, You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban. Um, uh, why did I pick that song? Because I like that song. So I guess that's this. <laughs> I just picked the song. So I have the lyrics. I want us to divide. I'll take one, pass it down. Who knows this song? Who can tell me what it talks about? Yes, 
Fiona? To me, it's more yes. like he was talking to God. And yes. When he's down, God is his strength. Right. He raises him up. Right. When mountains seem too high, he okay. can that's, stand. That's up. one interpretation, yes. Mm. That, Josh? You're talking about a friend. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. that friend has been their shoulder. Exactly. Strength. Yeah, yeah. And so the song is there's the emotional connection. So it's not going to be loud in terms of in terms of how we deliver it, because we must first understand what is the emotion that we are bringing to the song. First line, it's everybody one line one 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 one, and then then a harmony line because Amos and Josh. I think Amos and Josh probably you will take that last line. Okay, let's try. When I am down and all of my soul so weary. When troubles come and my heart burden be, then I am still and wait here in the silence. My idea is to do verse chorus. The arrangement of the form of the song would be verse chorus, verse chorus individual, and then we come and do a, a group chorus. And I think we do one more chorus after that, because I think we also have a time limit, and we'll time it. So if we have more time, we'll add another chorus. I think cor three choruses will become a little repetitive anyway. I think we can just agree verse chorus, which is the individual lines, then we do two choruses after that. How do we want to do those two choruses so that I will leave in your, in your hands? If I don't like it, then we'll go and do something else. But I want us to sort of co-create what's happening, right? Yeah. We're working with Tavuda for Saturday's song, which is pretty amazing. We're doing it as a choir. Guess which one it is? You raise me up. Yeah. We don't know whose rendition it is because we had a couple of them. So we're just gonna mash it up and see what comes out. By the end of the week, I think it's gonna be pretty amazing. Very beautiful. After the break, it's big meet and greet prep in the academy. Plus, I've got Fiona and Patrick from Rwanda and Hope from Burundi joining me here on the couch. Stay tuned to Tesco Project Fame Season 6. Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. So on the couch with me, I've got some more familiar faces, Fiona, Patrick, and Hope. Welcome to Studio Tusker. It's good to have you guys. Thank so you. let's let's talk about what happened on Sunday, Fiona, right? So Judge Ian announces no one is going on probation. And then I looked at your face and you were like, oh. <laughs> you were so relieved. Uh, yeah, I had for this time round, mm -hmm. the stupidest thing I did was judging myself. Ah, before you even performed yeah. or? Before that last song, mm -hmm. actually that's why even I lost my words, if anybody noticed. Yeah. But many people noticed. Yeah. And I'm sorry to East Africa. I don't know what happened. But yet. you're still safe. Yeah, still that's safe my another. shock. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in life you get second chances yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and you get that. Got that that was a real second chance that I needed. Yeah. Thank you. So, Patrick, this uh, Sunday you got to perform, you know, different collaborations. Who who did you enjoy working with the most? I really enjoyed the, the performance with Daisy because there I was, I was sure of myself. But mm -hmm. um, when I was performing with her, with Fiona, the mistakes, people did notice. You know, the thing about mistakes is covering them up. So mm -hmm. if you make a mistake, you just pretend like it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, Nobody knows. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not saying that I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, no one knows what you're saying. You I just was keep the singing. only Congolese there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, I really enjoyed the performance of that. It was really yeah. With you. It's Don't love, just it's love, it's love. <laughs> Country love right here. I know. <laughs> now hope, my man. Yeah, 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 yeah. This weekend, uh, you really challenged the judges, huh? I didn't see that coming when you, you, you know, you were upset that you're on probation and then you tell the judges, well, you know, at least you were, you weren't off key with your comments. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like, oh, hope. Well, <laughs> Where did that come from? Let me tell you something. You know, uh, last Sunday, okay. Their comments was off key, like what Hermes said. Mm. That was that was off. Yeah. Okay. He said, I don't know. I, I was not confident. Mm. I was watching. I was watching my performance there. Mm -hmm. I was on point. So I don't know why. So it was off key for me. You know. Yeah. Three weeks left in this whole for this academy to be over. Fiona, what are your plans when you go back home? There's nothing in my mind. My mind anymore. Sorry. Um, it's just music. Yeah. It's a career now. It's not about singing in the shower rooms anymore. 
because I have a big dream mm -hmm. I'm running after. Mm -hmm. If it ends with TPF out there, it's going to be still running. So yeah. I have to run after it. I love hearing that. I really love hearing that you're going to go and pursue your music. And Patrick, you've come a long way in this competition. I remember meeting you mm -hmm. at the top 25 and you're running out of the audition room and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and you were so nervous. And now here you are, you're commanding the stage, you're doing fantastic. How's this whole journey been for you? Yes, I've got a chance to meet all those big people. Yeah. Eric Wanaina, Kavutha, it was like, before it was like a dream. Yeah. So now my dream has come true. Uh, so it's, and I, I, I've got a chance to discover myself because with them, I know now uh, that I'm talented and, and in which direction I can go uh, yeah. with, uh, um, with my career. So this is the beginning, just the beginning. After here, ha. Uh, Watch out, wait for me. I'm Watch coming. Out. Watch out. <laughs> Hope I remember seeing you with your guitar. I mean, you've yeah, been strong yeah. from, from the very beginning. Yeah. What, how has the, just being here in the academy, how has that changed you as a musician? I didn't think TPF, you know, uh, being here, it's, uh, for me, it's a big thing. Even if I go now, I'm a star, but I'm not going. Yeah. Mm. I deserve this money, I can't believe I'll give this money. Yeah, like, I'm not done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's still a couple of Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> I like your attitude. So do you guys have any shout-outs you want to give to your people back home? They're watching mm -hmm. every day to see what you guys are up to. I want to send my regards to everybody that believes in my talent, that believes I can always grow, that believes there's something in me that can help East Africans. Patrick? Yeah, the only thing I can say is that And I, I will always love you. Hey. Yeah, because, let me tell you, I'm here for you. It's for you that I'm here. So I'm doing every, every, everything to please you and to give you, to deliver to you. And hope? First, I know I'm, I'm a good singer. And I think you saw in previous, I don't know, uh, in previous weeks. And uh, I'm here for you. Yeah, that's all yeah. I think I can say. I know it's still very much a journey for you. It's not over. So just yeah. hanging in there with the same spirit you've had. And I wish you all the best. All right, thank you so much to Hope, to Fiona, to Patrick for joining me here on the couch at Studio Tasca. I've had so much fun. You guys, you guys are crazy. <laughs> but now let's take a look at what happened when the entire academy got ready for their meet and greet, seeing as no one's on probation this week. Yeah, I'm getting ready for meet and greet. Yeah, it's the first time we're going as a group. First time for me to go out of this place. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, going to meet and greet. Can't wait. Meet, out, meet people, meet fans. Yeah. This is some good shit right here. Uh, which earrings am I going to put on today? This is smoke. Is it nice? I look yeah, right like the gloves here. Yeah. Nice. Ah! Oh, no. Cut! I have a lot of shoes, but I don't know which shoe I'm going to wear today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a lot of shoes, so it will be difficult for me to, to pick one. Ah, <laughs> that won't work. It is because you full of it. Oh, Will this work? <sighs> Actually, I don't know. Yay! I can't wait to get in that limo. Um, it's not even the limo that is uh, making me so excited. Uh, it's just going out and meeting my fans for the very first time and then not having to worry about Saturday probation that I'm going home or staying. It's, it's my best experience. It has uh, soothed my heart. And I come up with your honor, Ninava, Kofia, Aina, Wig. Hakuna Kupeleka, Aibu, Zamatuta, Hukoinje. Sunajua, how it goes. Razima Kasivi, Kakue, in the area. Yes. These are the shoes. Yeah. Logomba, guys. Logomba. Again. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this shoe is going to be. What's wrong? Yeah, right. Yeah. Logomba. <laughs> 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 
Actually, we are going to have fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> You done more. Yeah, that's good. Break, it's radio talk time and more FaceTime with fans right here on Tasker Project Fame Season 6. Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter using the hashtag TPF6. And if you want to re-watch your favorite performances again and again, the official YouTube channel is Tusker Project Fame 6. And if you're on Facebook, get to liking our page, which is Tusker Laga. To end today's episode, this is what went down at the first ever media visit and meet and greet featuring an academy that's not on probation. I'll see you back here at Studio Tusker, same place, same time tomorrow. I'm just about to make your afternoon even more, more interesting because I have me in the house some very interesting young East Africans. I'm talking about the contestants on Tusker Project Fame 6. Who in the academy do you like the least? <laughs> I love everyone the same. I like it. Let me talk to Daisy, daughter of Uganda. What do you like about Kenyan people? I think they're very aggressive people. Yes. And that's one of the things I love about them. And they're, most of them are straightforward. And it's a very good thing. Who was the closest person you were, you were to who was on probation and has now left the house? I would say. Angel, because she was my country mm -hmm. woman. Let me ask you this. If you were to pick somebody to go instead of Satanda, who would you have picked? Actually, I can't tell. The right answer to win votes would have been me. Be the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> the hardest thing you've had to endure that has, tasted, that has tested your patience beyond human endurance. For instance, um, I am a neo soul artist. Mm. I haven't gotten a single new soul song. We're in the sixth week. So I've always been getting songs which are totally not in my comfort zone. So, you know, I do try to get in that zone with that kind of music. You know, you give it your all, but you're really not that comfortable. You're like, why don't they give me that song? And then they, and they give this guy, he's not even into that kind of music, and they give him, and you're like, ah, oh, come on. Yeah. And you can't really complain, but you know. Gambura, when you're on probation, and you're seated with people who've never been on probation, can you still win this thing? I believe I'm good, and I, that time I slipped. Is there a time any of them should have been on probation, coach maybe on probation, and I've you loved, wasn't? I've loved every single performance of theirs, so... Oh, my God. Um, Talking to a nun. Yeah. Coach, yeah. why should we vote for you to win Tusker Project Fame 6? I'm a musician, and I know I have the talent, mm. and I know that I can change this world with my music. OK, prove it. Do I remind you of the pain? that he put you through, girl. Oh, yeah. I would like to uh, talk to his ear right now. Mm -hmm. What makes you think you're going to win? I think it's about time that we had a winner who was not just a singer. Mm -hmm. But I think we need a winner who's going to be an artist, who's going to be a musician, someone who has the whole package. I think, and I believe, I have the whole package. Many Kenyans have come in, many Kenyans have tried, but why should you be the person to win? I mean, after all, last time it was the Kenyans. What makes you so special if you can walk walls in and do it again? I got what it takes. There's that factor that keeps you there. They makes capturing hearts of people, mm. you know? We need Daisy to come in now. I'm not the best, but I always give my best. And I'm going to leave that question to if I will win to East Africa. Give us your best right now, my darling. I'll treat you better. Do you honestly think that the win of Tusker Pudding Fame 6 is going to come from this setting? I think the house is, is, is full of gifted people, mm. and right now it's left to, the, to East Africa to decide. I'd like to talk now to Patrick. Earlier on, uh, his year was in studio, and he said that this year he ought to win because it's about time not just a singer won Tusker Pudding Fame 6, but an artist as well. And uh, he basically insinuated that he's the only person who can carry that mantle. Do you agree with him? I don't. I don't. We are all able, and we... It's, it's possible to all, all of us to get the money. Fiona, why should you be the person to win this thing? Because I believe my dream is too big for this. Mm -hmm. 
it, it uh, they correspond. Mm -hmm. Winning this and my dream do correspond so much. This here, Burundi inabeba kikombe. Inabeba kabisa. I like it. What I can say is that do your best. East Africa is, we are a very loving people, but you can also be terribly unforgiving. Mm -hmm. You're only going to win if you deserve to win. The difference between dreams and accomplishments is purely desire. Thank you guys so much for coming. I sincerely hope I'm not going to see any of you next week because next week, you know, probation is back, eh? Yeah. I hope I don't see any of you here and I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you.